you know, you talked about your own personal blackmail and you're talking about, you know, uh, it seems that through this group, many people, you know, especially around that time, even Pentagon officials found out about many detrimental things, scenarios that nobody had even thought of that were exacerbated by Donuts Don't Tell. Um, how did you find, personally, how did you find the courage to be not only an administrator of this Facebook group, um, going by the mysterious name of J.D. Smith, um, but even represent this community in interviews where you had to hide your face? At, at that point, I just had reached, I was just so fed up, right? Like at some point, you know, when I was, you know, I can vividly remember being pulled into my commander's office, being like, what is going on with this instructor in this blackmail situation? And yeah. she was like, if you do not tell me what's going on right now, you're being removed from this unit. And I kid you not, she she took me from the office and dragged me over to dra Jag. And I cannot, I'll never forget that trauma. And I was, I was so just upset. And I remember like, call, like calling like one or two people at the time and just like breaking down and just being like, like, what is like, what is happening? And at that point, you've just got like nothing to lose. And, you know, you, either I'm going to be thrown out of the military or something. And at that point, you just want to do something. And and at that point, I was just like, I've got to organize. And if, if I'm going out, I'm going out swinging. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. And I, I, I'd rather help people at that point. We got to get them one way or the other. Machine gun. Firefight, bullets fly, they might bring. Simplify, do 